Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm from Aerometrics. I'm an aerial acquisition specialist working with the 3D team. So about six years ago, we did an aerial capture for the city of Launceston, uh, produced a 3D model, which came up really well. And that's been very valuable for the council over a number of years. And so they were looking for an update to that. So we've extended that a bit and done a 3D capture of um, the whole city area. So that can be used for planning, visualization, approvals, a um, whole host of things and it has a really visceral visual content to it so people recognize it immediately I mean as humans we're very visual creatures uh, we don't respond so well to 2d maps and plans we like to kind of get in there and, and view it and that connects everybody you don't have to be an expert to have a look at it in that context so obviously it starts with the acquisition we spend hours in the air gathering thousands and thousands of photos So the next step with that is to do some basic image processing on those images to make sure all the colour, contrast, quality of those meets our standards. Um, that's then an input into the production process where we're effectively tying together all of those thousands and thousands of photos using little key points on each of those photos that are recognised by the software. That then produces an initial model and at Aerometrics, our standard for the high-res models is five centimetres. Five centimetres accuracy, X, Y, Z across the entire model, which is pretty amazing at this scale. I mean, here, I've had the pleasure of flying around in a candy apple red helicopter that stands out beautifully. So um, it's pretty exciting even just starting the day, getting into the helicopter, um, basic things like safety checks, and then checking the gear. I mean, we have our uh, special gear that we use for these projects, so we need to know um, that that's all in order and then we're up in the air and uh, we're out over the city capturing. Um, along the way there's a lot of communication that goes on with air traffic control. We're not that far from an airport here so the tower down at Launceston Airport is just making sure that we're um, staying out of the way of jet traffic coming through and uh, we're dodging other helicopters or light planes that might be flying around. And there's a lot of planning that goes on as well. It's a big capture. Uh, here in Launceston, it's probably taken about six hours in the air all up to, to capture the city. So you've got to do that and manage um, how much fuel you've got and go back to base to, to top up. Uh, what's the weather going to be doing tomorrow? Uh, so there's a lot of things to, to monitor. And sometimes it's a matter of patience too. Actually, often it's a matter of patience. <laughs> Waiting around for the right weather conditions. <laughs> So City of Launceston is a really good example of usage of these models where um, it gets used by the council through the planning process and the, a model um, provides the background to new developments, for example. So if there is a proposal that goes in, that can be properly geolocated. You can see it in context and you can view things like shadow analysis throughout the day, view sheds to see what you can see from somebody's balcony in a new development and that can provide an input to the process of whether it's an appropriate development or not. Um, but beyond that, it allows you to connect with the community in a really concrete way. So you could render out a video that shows a new development or a new streetscape in the context how people will recognise it when they pass by each day. What's a perfect day at work like? <laughs> perfect day? You know what, it's like this, where the weather, clear blue skies, no wind, we don't have to worry about air traffic and we can get airborne and do a really good capture job. That's probably a perfect day and coming back, having uh, known the job's been done well, um, having a bit of banter with a pilot on the way back, that's pretty good. 